we have to talk a little bit about what's called acoustic impedance. And if you have two different acoustic impedances adjacent to each other, then you have what's called an acoustic interface. Well, the flaw detector concept, uh, if this is a steel plate and you put the ultrasound through and there are no cracks in it, then it transmits all the way through and can be detected at the other end. If there's a fracture which maybe has air in it, very different density between air and steel, then at that point the energy all gets reflected back and there's none detected at the other end. Or you can detect this returning energy. So that's the concept and it's the reason we're able to do what we do. The acoustic impedance of a material really determines the amount of sound energy transmitted and reflected at a boundary between two things that have different density. Um, the acoustic impedance is pretty much related to density as we think about density, but it has a different factor too. It's not just density, but it's also the rate of sound transmission in that medium. And so a curious example is water and a gum rubber eraser like you use in art class actually have almost exactly the same acoustic impedance. They're very different to us to touch. But if you put, with the older equipment at least, you put a gum rubber eraser in a tank of water and scanned it, you won't see it because they're the same acoustic density. So things can disappear. From that. So the other thing to remember is if the boundary is between two things that have very different acoustic impedances, there's going to be a huge amount of energy reflected. Well, where do we see that? Well, we see it when we encounter bone, like muscle and then bone, or mu muscle and then air, like in the chest, at that point it's like a mirror. Everything gets reflected back. Well, what that means is in the chest, normal chest with somebody with air in the lungs, you can't see anything. Well, that turns out actually to be a good thing because that's one of the things you use at the bedside if you're worried about uh, fluid around the lungs, is if you can see something, then that's not normal. You shouldn't be able to see it. 